this is the spot, huh? Yep. Kind of hard to see, but it's just right back over in here. Dang. You see it right there? Yep. Yeah. How in the world did you even see that? I was just over here checking the lift station and happened to look back over in here and seen the top of it, and I thought, what in the world is that? It's poison ivy or poison oak, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> as far as I know, I'm not allergic. Man, it's pretty rough. Yeah. It looks like there's two of them. Man, that thing is rough. <laughs> yeah. Been here a while, it looks like. Yeah. An old door, but it is just, it's rusted, it's gone. What do you think this is, like an early 30s, late 20s, something? I would say in the 30s, yeah. I'm really not familiar with this, this oldest stuff at all. Some more pieces over here. Really? Yeah, the door. Looks like maybe a cow. I don't know what that is over there. I wonder if it's all here. I don't know. Or why it was... Why it was out here? Yeah, demolished and tore all the pieces. But he said just basically get them gone, huh? Yeah, yeah, he said they've been here ever since he's owned the property. and Pretty well said he, they were out here when he was a kid. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, I'd be willing to... He said we could just have the stuff? Yeah, he said just, just come get it. Good luck. I'm up for it. I mean, I don't, I don't know that we'll do anything with it, but it'd be super cool just to dig up, digging up some treasure almost, just to see what's even out here. Right. We may find something we don't even want to find. I think if we start working, we'll find something we don't want. That's <laughs> work. Did you bring that metal detector? Yeah, I've got it up here in the, in the back of the truck. Most of this stuff looks like it's not buried too deep, but you never know what might be a little right. deeper. Something like this. Yeah. May find the owner to this thing. He might be in pieces out here too. <laughs> well, so what's the game plan? I don't know, I guess get some shovels and see what we can unearth. I wonder if he cares if we was to trim some of this brush back. This I way. asked him and he said, you know, as long as we didn't tear up anything, we could trim what we needed to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's grab some shovels and try to, try to do work if we remember how. So guys, real quick, this video was brought to you in part by Bespoke Post. Mm. If you guys have never heard of Bespoke Posts, they're actually a monthly membership club that's free to join. Now every month they introduce their members to a lot of cool new products. Each box of awesome has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Now you're only going to pay for what you want, so you can keep it, you can swap it out for a different box, uh, you can skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. So in our first box here we've got our parked box, which is actually a portable lounge chair, uh, and I am absolutely amazed at how small that container is. Uh, inside here it appears that we have all the makings of a portable lounge chair. Looks like this is going to be the main section of the chair there. I guess these are just the little pieces it sets onto. Let's get this bad boy put together. It seems a little small, but it's actually pretty sturdy and very comfortable. 
It even has this little spot here. You can stow away your cell phone. I like it. Let's move on to the next box. So our next box here is what they call the Weekender box. And it is actually a very well-made little bag uh, that you could use for uh, whether you're going on short trips, the gym maybe. I mean, it's not too big, but it's still gonna carry around uh, everything a guy needs to carry around. Uh, it's made of some super thick khaki material here. I love this metal framing it has around the top. So this thing is good and sturdy. You ain't gonna have things dropping out of the bottom of it. If any of you guys are needing a good little travel bag, this is definitely it. And for our last box here, we've got our chill box, which is gonna be another really good product if you're on the go like we are all the time. Uh, this is a really cool little portable cooler. Just kind of pop her open. And you could hold quite a bit inside there. Um, it's got a little, little can opener, bottle opener if you need to. Looks like inside here. We've also got our strap, if you wanted to carry it over your shoulder. Uh, keep Cokes, keep sandwiches, whatever we need while we're out in the field working. This is definitely gonna be super handy to have around the shop. Now our personal favorite out of these boxes would be the Chill Box and the Park Box. Uh, both of these products are super convenient if you're the type of person that's always on the go. So guys, to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description below and enter promo code TURNINRUST20 or go to bespokepost.com slash TURNINRUST20. Now let's get back to the show. I don't even know where to start on this. At least the ground's a little soft. Yeah, maybe if we start at the end. <laughs> Ooh, it is soft. Yeah. You think we should try to go ahead and dig up the the little parts, or get the big big part out of here first? Or I think the little part. I mean, get the little parts out of here, and that way, if we decide, at least get them found and yeah. If we, if we run across something, then we can get out of here and we're not, we can always come back and get the big parts. Yeah. All right. I guess pick your territory, mark your territory. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start right here. All righty, I'm gonna move this barbed wire here and get started. Try to anyway. You know, we are just asking for trouble. <laughs> well, my door is about a three quarter door. <laughs> three quarter door? Honestly, this part right here looks like it's probably not much better than just some scrap metal. Whatever my piece is, is stuck in pretty good, I guess. Good grief, it's gone. I'm trying to save it as much as I can just for the fact of going through the trouble of doing this. Thought I found a snake, but it's just a bunch of earthworms. That'll buff out. Buff out. <laughs> wow. I really wonder what the, cause this is just the outer skin. It doesn't even have the, the inner frame. I'm assuming probably some of them have wooden though and they may have just rotted away.
Yeah, I've got something here. I don't know what it is, but it's it's rusty. So it's bound to go to it. <laughs> some good fishing worms out here though yeah if anything will pay off getting those is that a fender i think it i don't know i don't know if it's like an inner fender or no that's a fender pretty sure that's the passenger side fender <laughs> it, it was supposed to be well at least you're finding something that you can identify i haven't yeah Found a bunch of rust. Wow, there's a lot of worms. Oh, there's some kind of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like the, the back trunk of it. <laughs> if nothing else, just think all the money we're going to make off scrap metal. <laughs> yeah. And there's a ton of worms. I guess I'm gonna go over here by this other door, maybe over here. We've come across a worm farm. So this is a front fender, it looks like. I miscalled that one big time. If I go to swinging at that, that's just going to whip back on me. Ah, more metal. Maybe an old mirror or something at one point. I don't scratch the paint. <sighs> Best piece I've found so far. If you see a snake, let me know. I'll clear a path for you to run this way. All right. So far, so good. Ugh. Man, some of this stuff is just unidentifiable. I don't know what all 
this is. The door with something attached to it. I think I pretty much got everything I can see over there. Nothing but a bunch of junk. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's gone. Like yep. there's just random pieces of scrap metal that you can't even tell what's what. Just that one door over here? Well, there's whatever this is over here. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. It didn't look like a door though. It's pretty obvious at this point that <laughs> I think we kind of knew when we started that there wasn't anything out here that was right. savable, but yeah, at least that came apart and I dragged both pieces. At least he gets the old metal off his land and gave us something to remember. Yeah. <laughs> and try to forget. <laughs> That's a big door. Crazy thing is, this was at some point someone's dream car, I'm sure. Yeah. Or someone's nightmare. <laughs> the way it landed out here. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you wonder what happened to make it. Yeah, wind it's like up in they started point. just cutting it into pieces. Or tearing it into pieces. Yeah. There's a piece of metal here, but I don't know that it's worth it. Oh, never mind, it's just tin. I can't really tell what that is. Ouch. Oh, that's a... It looks like maybe a latch was there, so I'm wondering if this is the inside door frame or something. I don't know what it is. Ow. I don't know what that is. That's the wiring. <laughs> That's the old wiring to this car. <laughs> this is old. Always use the proper tool. <laughs> yeah, that don't work if you mm -hmm. want that. Man, there's obviously no saving this piece, but I'd like to get it out to at Just least to see, what see what it looks like it should have been. Something's grown up to it there, I don't know. I have no clue. I just completely destroyed it though. It fell apart. <laughs> I don't think you destroyed it. Uh, yeah. I that's... think it's savable. Yeah. I don't know. We'll throw it in our pile of goodies. You know, it probably doesn't help that the creek's right there and this probably floods and caused all this to to rot out. That's just some old tin. Sheet metal. I'm afraid that's what we're gonna find mostly out here if we get the metal detector out. But. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted us to pick all that up or mainly just the car, so we'll stick with what we know was probably a car. <laughs> so it looks like what was best out of all this stuff is just what scared us at first glance. <laughs> oh, it's stuck in pretty good there. Oh, 
lost the windshield pillar. Dump it out. So, so that's the cow, though. It's just flipped the wrong way. Ah. I just detailed the inside of it. Ooh. Well, that's cool. I mean, it looks a little bit more like a <laughs> well, like a bigger piece of metal. This has got less stuff piled up in it than the opals did. I just wonder if uh, I wonder if those doors went to this one. We'll have to at least shimmy and shape stuff up to see if we can yeah. envision. What do you think this is? Uh, Chevy? Uh, I don't know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure when you go back this far. I'm looking for a badge. <laughs> Spider web. No, it's kind of got the window like a. Oh, yeah. Not like a 32 Chevy or something. I guess that's still connecting. This might lift up. I thought it would have had some stuff stuck in it, but oh, I'm crawling out the window. You're going through the door. See if we can just shaking. Yeah. Why didn't work? Oh yeah, no. Prime example of not all rust is always gold. Thank but you. all rust has a story behind it. That's one thing. That... Well, I don't think we're taking anything but the worms home away from them. Ain't like somebody something was living in it. is pretty much free it looks like well oh no Oops. wow Oops, I dented it. Well, it's a lot of work to <laughs> yeah. make a big pile of mess to load on the trailer. You wanna go ahead and try to trim some of this out? And I guess we can, cause we're gonna hang up on everything in between if we don't.
one of them? Uh, unfortunately, I think it's going to take them both. We can get it with that. May have to trim a little bit of this stuff back. get it huh I think so get some of this cleared out to where we can yeah I think I got the raw end of the deal with that thing <laughs> you didn't crank it <laughs> I guess I forgot to do that I guess I'll go ahead and back the trailer up here so we don't have to carry it as far it's not gonna be easy no I don't think we can mess anything up though. What do you want to start out first with? Uh, you think we can get the smaller of the big pieces and go ahead and load it up there, yeah. and we can stack stack the smaller stuff inside of it, maybe, and then go ahead and save the big one for last. Right. <laughs> That's going to be tricky, not hanging ourselves on that when I, I can't even it. walk over it, not carrying nothing. Coming up on that barbed wire. Okay. And that Mother Nature barbed wire is everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Losing pieces as we go. At this point, I wish it was a little rustier. It wouldn't be as heavy. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll turn it around where the back's towards the... Not sure, but it may have looked better out in the woods. Oh, yeah. I guess let's go ahead and we may have to lay it lay on the back. back. It's just gonna fold in on itself. Be all right. Then to go ahead and grab all these loose parts and kind of stack them inside that there. Probably so. Do you remember what side? of the door it was you were digging out or that's it right that's there? That's it right there, I think. Passenger side? Passenger side, it looks like. I can't tell. It looks like those body lines line up, don't they? Yeah. So that may have went to this. And that's a passenger fender. Got a tetanus, had your tetanus shot.
Did we ever determine what this contraption was? I have no idea. I never could figure out. The lizard. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> Looks like we just got the big pieces now. Well, this is gonna be the fun part. Yeah. There it is. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Man, it's like jello. We're gonna have to turn it. <laughs> Pretty sure we're dragging a vine with us. I think the old ground was helping hold it together. Yeah. Well, I was hoping we at least had enough panels on the passenger side of this car for it to maybe resemble a car again. Unfortunately, this thing's really gone. Uh, it looks to be probably around a 32 through a 34 Chevy sedan from what I can tell, but it's got rust everywhere. We've got a pile full of basically scrap metal here. It was parts that belonged to this car at some point in time, but you can't even tell what they are now. Um, it's been sitting out here in the woods forever. When dad found it, uh, he contacted the owner. He remembers it being out here when he was just a kid. Uh, either way, it was really cool to be able to dig this thing up. It's still a piece of automotive history. Uh, maybe something savable that I don't, I don't know about. The cow seems to be in okay condition. Maybe it would make a really cool piece of yard art. Uh, but either way, we may not have saved much of it, but we saved what we could.